good afternoon. My name is Dave. I'm carrying on searching and I've come to the beach again and look what a calm gorgeous evening it is and a clue in the background shortly you'll see where I am. Here we go. Can we get that ship in the background? Anyway, I'm here with Nigel and Ox, 4 before program. I'm going to give it a go. I've got a first little signal here and how's about that? Now that is what I call a nail. That's the biggest one I've ever found, I think. Though. But anyway, there's a, a layer of clay that I've just come up against. Uh, it's a very low tide, so uh, you can see there's some rocks about. I think there could be some stuff lodged here. We're soon going to find out, aren't we? What a scene, beautiful. I say a nice clay layer under this loss. Could be all sorts here. I've just had a, a signal. Nigel's given me a signal here to go for. And I think I've got my first coin. Is it a little 1p? Or what? Looks copperish. Let's wash it. Let's see. I tell you what. <gasps> Look what I've got. I've got a farthing. 1939 farthing. Oh yes. History. My first bit of history from this beach. Apart from a, lead, a lovely lead fishing weight and a couple of tiny weeny bits of shrapnel. Let's see if there's any more. Next signal Nigel found for me is 19 and I can see it there and I think I've got some serious Serious history. Oh, look at that. That's it, something. A lead bullet. Is that a Martini Henry? It's had some, some serious damage to it. Nice bit of history. Keep it up, Nigel. That's what we want, the old stuff. I'll try over there. How peaceful and calm is that? And it's still going out yet. Exposing more. Anyway, next signal, 17, in the hole, there, and look, it's popped out to say hello, and it's a serious bit of history, look at that, look at that, what's that, a two ringer, wow, lovely, keep it up Nigel. As the sun goes down, a 17, right near the surface, there it is. It looks kind of bullet shaped, but not without the. Oh, now what is that? Oh, is that what is going on there? That's a, a three ringer that's not got its top on, is it? Or what? Seems very as if it's designed to be that shape. Is that another weird type of bullet that I've never? I don't know what it is. It's it's a unique one. Let me know if it is. Nigel, you've doubled my collection and more. Look at that scenery. Oh well, I'll be back here alright. And yet another, 17. Seems to be a good signal that for these little bullets. Can you see it? Can you see it? If I lost it. There it is. Oh, it's another little cracker. Look at that. Wow. Oh, getting spoilt here. And yet another, number 17, and these are turning into goodies every time. Look at this. Look at that. I'll not get fed up of finding these. Beautiful reflection there. Moving on. Hey, come on, Nigel. Standing round, admiring the view. There's work to be done here. Come on. Let's get to it. 
That's more like it, never mind resting up. And out pops another one. All lodged in the clay. That's what we like, isn't it? Hard packed clay. And beautiful scenery. Good combination. It's another 17, and it's another beauty. Look at it, caught in the clay. I'm loving this clay. I'm loving these finds. I'm also loving the scenery. Beautiful. That's what it's all about, isn't it? And there comes the Stena line boat. Next signal. And another little beauty. Right on the surface of this boulder clay. Don't you just love it? Woo, what a collection I'm going to have at the end of this. Tell you what, it's the bullet dig. It's going to be bullet beach this, isn't it? From now on. In the same place where I was yesterday. Uh, waiting for the tide to go out a little bit. Get to the low bits, the nice bits. I'm here with Nigel the Knox. We have our first little find. I think we and do believe it's a coin. What have we got? Look at that. Hey! I'll take that all day. Nice little 50p. That's a good start. Tide's starting to go out now as you can see. We're getting some rocks so um, this is where the stuff collects. I will keep going for some more. Next signal, 15. It was in there, well I thought it was in there, it was actually there. Just got it out and look, 15. I think that could be a tiny little pistol ball. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in it, no holes. Oh, proper little history. I'm down to the clay level now, so it's getting interesting. I said it was getting interesting. That's when I had that little baby pistol ball. My detector was resting there in that puddle and uh, it was given a signal of 19 there and basically that was the surface part of the clay I just excavated and look at that. Look at that little baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're on the history. We're on the history. Keep it going Nigel. Is it the bucket that's bringing me luck? I hope so. First one of the evening. Signal number 17. Again, right on the top of the clay. Look at that. Little beauty. An intact lead bullet. We are on the history, all right. And so far, my little plan to bring me bucket is working because I've not found any lead fishing weights. <laughs> Perhaps I'm scaring them off. Let's hope so. Keep going at this race. I'll get a fair few little uh, nice goodies. Here we go again. 17, shallow. We know what that can mean round here. You see it, yes? You see it? What a little beauty. Another one to my collection. And still it goes out. Opening up more area for me to play with. Another little 14, 15 signal here. Took me a little while to find it, again near the surface, and here it is. And I think it's my second little pistol ball, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, doing all right for those tonight. That's three, I mean, hat trick of potential musket ball stroke pistol balls. Next signal, high 30s this one. Again, right on the surface, absolutely loud cracking tone. And look, oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, I like that. Look at the size of that. Sadie's bit of shrapnel. Plenty of anti-aircraft activity here in the war, all right. I'm going to head that away. Just another signal here. Again, on a nice flat clay bit. 19. Very close to the surface. 
and look at this. Wow. Serious bit of ammunition there, isn't it? <gasps> look at that size of it. Oh. I'm certainly not done yet. Next signal. 1415, right on the surface, I do believe we've got some proper ammo. I think. What do we think to that? Look at that. Oh, a proper bullet tip. What a beauty. Proper ammunition dig this, isn't it tonight, Nigel? Keep me going with all the bullets and things. Keeping going to there looks like signal. It's going dusk now. Let's just check it. I'm sure it was a 22. 22. It's a bit all over the place. But it's looking round. Oh, please. Please, please. And please don't just be a two pence. What have we got? Well, I can confirm we have a coin. And what have we... Oh, my word. <gasps> Is that a head facing right? That's not that's not George the Third, is it? Do you know what? I think that's potentially George the Third. <gasps> oh, I'll take some cleaning up with that one. Is that a? Hang on, hang on. Is that a crown? Oh, that's a crown, isn't it? Is that a Hibernia, George the Third? I think it could be. You know. <gasps> wow, a proper old coin. Hang on, where's, where's my focus gone? There it is. Wow! Well done, Nigel. I'm going to grid this little area now. What a fantastic find. Oh, right, I'll carry on searching. Next signal, another 19. And it is... Another super lead bullet. I've come to this area thinking it was just sort of low compacted clay and it looks like it's a bit of a muscle bed to be honest with you so I'm, I think I might be heading back to where that flat clay is try that another time another time, another day there's always another tide isn't there oh my word what a find there it is, can you see it 35, it really loud, loud noise that is without doubt the biggest piece of shrapnel I've ever found Look at the size of that in my hand. What a top, top find. And how gorgeous is that? Right, because it was getting a little bit dark, I didn't do a roundup video for um, this two little hunts that I've done that ended in darkness. So I just wanted to show you once I've um, brought all the finds back home and uh, cleaned them up and put them in my display case. Uh, how how much I found just in that small area over those two little digs. Now basically, this little display only consisted of those few little bullets there, a couple of those big ones at the back, and maybe one of those there. That's all that I've had in this display cabinet. But since those two digs, look at all this stuff that I found, all the different bullets. They've had some serious action, those three, haven't they? But um, there's some really weird and wonderful designs here. The, the tall size of those i think they're martini henry's not sure what this one is looks a very strange thing that and those if anybody knows what in what way and what used to be on the tip of those bullets i'd be really intrigued to know but look at that in my display case i'm so pleased with that as well as my other couple of little coins and large pieces of shrapnel so that is a place i will be going back to again see if i can find any more what a great bit of history anyway that's it for this time. I'll see you next time on Carry On Searching.